Welcome back to Pistons Live from the Players Lounge here at Little Caesars Arena, where in addition to Greg Kelser and Grant Long, we've been joined by Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins for tonight's Xfinity look around the league. And Dominique, uh, this weekend, the NBA will celebrate the 30th anniversary of that 1988 slam dunk contest between you and Michael Jordan, the slam dunk contest many consider the best of all time. Why do you think that event has stood the test of time? 30 years? Yeah, 30 years, <laughs> yeah. Been that long? <laughs> Believe it. Wow, you know what? Just to make it really simple for yeah. you, if they're still talking about it 30 years later, you think it's the best ever? <laughs> great point. It's great, pretty good. Great, great point. Yeah. And you, know, you know, one thing, you know, Michael and I have talked about several times, it don't matter who won. Do I think I won? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but still, the fan, but, but the fans got their money's worth. Oh, yeah. And that was the important thing for us. No doubt about it. It's still great to look back on it. You know, but I'm wondering, in today's NBA, where there's such an emphasis on the perimeter game, is the dunk going extinct? It would never go extinct, never, never, because it's it, it's a it's a play that get an instant two with aggression at the rim to get to back people. Up. See, the dunk is a tool for intimidation, just to back people up. It's really not who I was, but because you've seen so many highlights of me dunking, people thought that's all I could do. It was definitely a statement. It was a statement. It was a statement. It was a statement yeah. But you know, I tell people all the time, it's very difficult to score over twenty-six thousand points on dunks. You know, I was creative score. Thing, yeah. I was creative score, but <laughs> right. dunk. The dunk will never go extinct. I don't. I don't care how much they try. It, it, that would never happen. Do you think it's still the highest percentage yeah. shot in the game. Yeah. And you know, I think that right now the three-point shot gets so much emphasis. But I think the challenge for any team and any coach is still to get the shot that you can closest to the basket. Right now they're 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 crowding the basket. You know, they're forcing play away from the paint. But this is just a phase. Everything is cyclical, and I think there will come a time when you'll see the game open back up. You'll see more movement, less standing, and the dunk will probably get uh, better emphasized uh, than it is right now. But I agree with Dominic. But, but it's never great. going anywhere. But it's never going away. If you lose the dunk, you lose the flair of the game. You lose the excitement of the game. Fans would get bored with not seeing that. It's still the thing that gets yes, fans it, to their yeah, feet yes, when it you brings see a people nice dunk. To, their, to their knees. And so <laughs> it would never be extinct. And, and it's still one of those plays, in my estimation, that if you get somebody with a dunk, it's like, okay, I better leave this guy alone. If you, if you dunk on yes. somebody, it's a wrap for the rest because of the game. You might, you might just totally destroy his confidence. Exactly. <laughs> I've had a guy who was the leading shot blocker in the nation. And he had a statement that people said, I'm going to block Dominique's shot when he comes to the basket. It took one play to take him totally out of the game. Let me ask you something. Did anybody ever dunk on you? Of course. Who? Yeah. yeah. Who, who do you A couple remember? people. I mean, I got dunked on by Kareem. I only got dunked on twice in the NBA. Kareem and, and, and uh, I think Mitchell Wiggins. And you know, I got in the way of Daryl Dawkins. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Well. You still got an arm, a hand? <laughs> hey. Let me tell you, my left side was on? very sore. You okay. talk, you talk I, about dunking the center. Oh, yeah. Message. Hey, look. That guy sent a lot of messages the way he dunked on big men. And I, and he was a guy that took pride in embarrassing him. Darryl, who's a different animal? Let, let's go back to that dunk contest between you and Michael Jordan. I got to ask you, you come into a dunk contest on paper thinking I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. But at, what, at some point, at what point for you did you say, forget about all the stuff I thought I was going to come in here and do and just go free? Freestyle. You know what? I never worked on a single dunk. Really? I, not a single one, and neither did Mike. We did it all in the spur of the moment. But I did my best dunk, I thought, my last dunk. My dunk before that, it was a great dunk, and I got a 50. And you when didn't I, think that was your best. best dunk? No, it wasn't my best. <laughs> but my last dunk, when I got a four, I was like, oh. The thing I liked okay. about you, Nick, is that you used to do some of your dunks in games. You yes. remember your dunk oh, on yeah. Bob Lanier? Bob Lanier uh -huh. hated me for nine uh -huh. years. Uh -huh. <laughs> After we retired, he started speaking to me. He said, well, I said, why are you not? didn't speak. He said, because my kids had to see that, and I came home, and they was teaching me this little skinny kid to dunk. He said, I hated you. I'm like, serious? <laughs> kids, do yourself a favor. Look up Dominique Wilkins' highlights. He didn't dunk just for show, the human highlight film, ladies and gentlemen. Dominique, thank you so much thank for you. joining my us. My pleasure. All right.